Welcome to the I'm Dealing With Broadcast. I'm Sean, your host. Um, Today's going to be an interesting topic in which we're going to be talking about listening to speak. And most of the time, people are always wanting to speak. Seems like everybody always has something to say. Don't know why, but people always have something to say. And men, especially with you men, many times we don't share for obvious reasons. Well, number one, one of the biggest reasons is we don't want to feel inferior. We don't want to feel dismissed. We don't want to feel little. We want to feel like we're less than. And so we struggle with the idea that when we begin to share that we're going to run into issues where people will uh, dismiss what we have to say, dismiss our feelings, dismiss how we feel about a thing. So therefore we don't share. And the reason why that happens is because when we begin to speak, there's always somebody who wants to say, man, why you feel like that? Man, you shouldn't be like this. Man, you feel a little weak. Man, why are you complaining? Man, you sound like a girl. And what happens is it's that very time, men, you don't know. The truth of the matter is, is you don't know when that guy was thinking, maybe this is a time for me to share. I've been holding it for so long. And in that moment when he decides that he trusts you to speak to you, to open up his heart, to share to you about a thing that he feels very added about, something that's bothering him so much, and you begin to belittle what he says, may be the very last time that he shares again because we were so busy listening to speak. Because we belittled how they felt. We dismissed what they're feeling. And the truth of the matter is, no matter who we are and how we feel about a thing, the feeling is real to us. And when we listen to speak, we dismiss the feeling. We dismiss how they feel. We make them feel that they're less than. We make them feel that like they're unimportant. And the thing we have to realize is... Everyone wants to be heard. Everyone wants to feel valued. Everyone wants to feel as though they belong, that they're important. Even my, even myself, even at 52 plus years old, I think to myself, I want to be in a place where I'm celebrated, not tolerated. And nobody wants to be in a space where they're tolerated versus being celebrated. So when someone begins to share with you and share with you their heart, share with you how they feel, share with you the emotions and the things that's going on in their life, whether it's dealing with money, whether it's dealing with their finances, whether it's dealing with their debt, whether it's dealing with their job, their relationship, their spouse, their children, their mom, their dad, maybe they're even their religion. Don't just listen to speak. Don't listen to try to show them how great you are and how little they are. Don't try to uh, speak to them to um, show them how much you know and how little they know because that might be the very last time they ever open up the share because they took a chance on you to listen. And then you just in a matter of minutes have devalued and made them put their walls back up, made them dig moats, made them dig ditches, made them put mines, made them pull out their cannons because now this is the last time I'll ever open up because I felt devalued. Never listen to speak, but listen with intent. Listen with the mindset of helping. And then the most important, while you're listening, Put yourself in their shoes. How would you want somebody to listen to you when you begin to share? Because when we only listen to speak, we put men right back in the same situations they were in before they came together, which is why we have a whole aspect of men who have not healed. We men come together to go golfing. We come together maybe to go to the bar, maybe to go to the amusement park, maybe to go roller skating, football, watching a softball, watching baseball. We do all these different things, but and enjoy the games and the world, you know, WWF and, and mixed martial arts. And we enjoy all these different things but we never talk about the things that matter to us most. So when we leave the community of our brethren, we should go back the same way we came. 
which is why we have a whole generation of men who are broken, whole generation of men feeling less than, whole generation of men feeling devalued. So listen, not to speak, but listen with intent. Because when you listen with intent, don't be surprised of the value that you put in another person's life. Because that could be the first and maybe the last time they ever open up. So I challenge you to listen with intent moving forward. I'm Sean, your host. Stay tuned because we got more coming at you. Till then, be blessed. Bye for now.